So hi and welcome to this video. So uh, today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be um, going over creating the uh, channel settings page and um, as you can see obviously I've changed the colour scheme again because uh, I think it might have actually been a bad idea to change it to the grey. Um, I think this just makes um, the colours and all just uh, fit in a bit better. I don't know if you prefer it the other way just let me know in the comments below and I'll fix it and change it back but um i think this probably is better so uh, that's it for the intro to the video and let's get started so as you can see here i'm on the uh, members page and i've got one channel uh, and i can click on it and it will um load and let me view it and um i can just scroll this around and i can subscribe and unsubscribe and things um but we can actually change the channel like upload images and change the color of it or anything so we're going to do that now so we're going to go back to actually the members page and i'm going to add a new link that will go to um channel settings.php which is uh, the file we created in the last video okay so i'm here on members.php and here's the first link so i'm just going to put a space and then um where is it? Um, uh, where is it? I'm going to put in uh, the straight line and then I'm just going to put another link in. Uh, uh, and this link's just going to go to channel settings.php. And we're going to end that link. And in here, we're just going to say uh, channel settings. Uh, and then we're just going to go back to the web page and refresh. And you can see we have a new link that says channel settings and it takes us. Okay, so the channel settings page, let me have a look. Okay, so we didn't give it an argument, so it uh, redirected us to the index page. Because here we can see we are um, taking an argument in the URL. So if I was to go to um, index.php, or I mean channel. Uh, settings.php uh, and give it an argument it lets me see it uh, so and if I was to uh, take this away uh, you can see it redirects us to the index page so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to the members page and I'm going to give it an argument which is equal to the uh, channel name so channel underscore name so now if we uh, go to the members page and we wave the mouse over here, down in the bottom left, you can see the uh, URL and it links to creative code. If I click on it, it takes us to the channel settings page and we can see that it's correct because it gets echoed up there. So uh, that's it now for the members page. We can go to the channel settings page now and I'm just going to delete this echo channel. <clears throat> and what we're going to do is we're just going to create a form. So the form is going to be... It's going to have an action of channel settings.php c equals uh, channel and I actually need to surround this in the uh, php echo or a php block and then echo the variable then we're going to set the method equal to well we can actually copy this from um, the image upload page because this is going to be the image upload form for the channel so if we were to go down to the bottom i think here we have here we can just copy this from here on and go to channel settings and just oops paste it in there oops uh just like that so this name is going to be uh, channel pick, yeah that's fine. So we'll just change this to upload your channel image and upload channel image. Uh, we'll actually say channel icon because um, we're going to have uh, banners and things as well. So if we refresh now we have a form and says upload channel icon. Uh, and then we can go to the upload image um, page and we can copy all this. So if we were to just copy everything and go to the channel settings page and 
just put a comment here so the channel icon image upload script you could even put this on a separate file if you wanted um, and use object oriented PHP to uh, use it as a class and you know bring it in without having to redo it but I'm not gonna bother um, so I think this should actually work um, all except for uh, we don't want to update users, we want to update, ch update channels, so I will just comment that out. And uh, here we want to just change move uploaded file to channels slash images slash icons. Um, okay, so we need to actually re uh, change something here. Because that's a good folder to put the uh, channel icons in, but not the profile image icons. So uh, we're going to leave this the way it is, and on the image upload script, we're going to change this the directory it checks and moves to to um, users slash images slash icons and users slash images slash icons. Uh, and we need to go to the members page now. And just to change that, I think. Uh, scroll up and change this to users and users. And I actually need to go back out of the channels folder and create a new one um, called images to hold all of, or I uh, call users to hold all the users. Uh, Profile images and really other related images. Uh, so it's users, and then it's inside users, it's images, and then I think it's icons. Let's have a look. Yep, it's icons. So um, now we're just going to go to members.php, and obviously our image won't exist because we've changed it. So I'm going to go to upload image.php, and I'm going to upload one. Uh, it doesn't really matter which I upload, so I'll just upload default pick and click upload image. Image is uploaded successfully. Go to members, and there it is. Um, and the reason it didn't ha show me a uh, default image is because the uh, default image isn't in that folder, so I'm just gonna copy default out of this uh, and paste it back in here. So now if I was to delete um, my profile image, uh, I would still, I would just be showing the default one, which is this. Uh, sorry about that. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go to uh, edit channel settings and we have an error. So line 44, um, channel settings, and go down to 44. So... Uh, um, Okay, it says unexpected end, so that means we've left out one of these probably. Um, so something's not quite right. Um, okay, uh, what we'll do is we'll just put another one in just to see what that if that actually f actually delete one. Let's refresh. So we still got unexpected end, so we'll put it back in and another one. And here it is, yeah, we were just missing one. So I'm going to go to choose file and I'm going to upload the search icon and click upload channel icon. The image is uploaded successfully. If I go back to uh, data and I go to channels and images and icons, uh, actually, okay, I'll empty this folder and we'll do it again. Um, because um, it's hard to tell if that actually worked. So we'll just do it again. Uh, upload the image. Choose search icon and click upload channel or icon. So if we go to icons, we can see here we have the um image we just uploaded, and that's good. And that means we can use it. So if we were to go into PHP My Admin now, okay. So here you can see we're inside of PHP My Admin and. I just need to add a new column to the table uh, at the end of it to store the channel image. So channel icon 
and I can't remember the length of it, so I'll just set it to 255, which is the maximum length for a bar chart. And our table has been altered successfully, but now we won't be able to create channels because, um, well, I'll show you. So if we go to create channel.php, and I try to create one, so, uh, Francis. Okay, let me check why that. Okay, yeah, it didn't actually create. And you can see we only have one channel. And the reason for that is because when we added a new row to the table, the column count, uh, the column count for the channel didn't actually match the query we did when we create the channels. So we go to the create channel page and all we have to do is add an empty column here and that should be it that should be a us allowed to create channels again so if we go here and we go forward slash create channel.php and we type in a channel name now if i click create channel and i go to members you can see we have our new channel and if i click view it shows up so um that's it all fixed and now on the uh, channel page we actually want to display the image we uploaded so we're going to go to channel.php and here it's really easy all we have to do is add another uh, row in our while loop so uh, channel icon and uh, channel icon and then since it's in our while loop now we can actually refer to this variable and it will take the image out of the database and we actually can check did it go in so now if i well we haven't actually uploaded one so that's what we'll do now we'll go to oops and we'll just upload an image so search like okay i just thought uh, we haven't actually done that yet so if I go to channel settings, we need to actually uncomment this and update or um, use the query to update the channels table to associate the um, uploaded image with the channel that it's um, being uploaded for. So we go to channels, uh, we update the channels table, we set channel icon equal to profile pick we didn't actually change any variables so it doesn't make sense here but it did in the uh, image upload script and it's just easier than uh, changing it oops um, and where let's have a look where a uh, channel name let's do that so where channel name equals channel and that should be it so now if we oops go here and we refresh and we pick another image to upload so search icon and we hit upload to our upload channel image uh, if we re refresh the um, uh, table we can see we have two results but and that just shows we are and um, we have our second channel there but now you can see if I scroll across we have our second image uploaded and it's associated with this channel so uh, what we need to do now is actually just display it on the uh, channel so now we can refer to this uh, so we can just copy the variable name and change the image source to data for oops uh, yeah data forward slash um, let's have a look Okay, so it's data forward slash channels, forward slash images, forward slash icons, forward slash, and then just echo it out. Paste it there, and for dollar sign, and there we go. So now if we go to members, and we click on view channel, here's our image. And we go back to members and view channel settings, and we can upload another one, so default pick we upload it it gets uploaded successfully and we go back and here it is here so that's it for this video don't forget to like comment favorite and subscribe um 
Uh, I know it's a little bit late, and I will be uploading more view videos more frequently, really soon, and um, that's it, so see you next time.